Hi, I'm Don Stewart. Today we're going back almost 100 years to 1925. Virginia Woolf and Mrs. Dalloway. Now she's pretty famous for, that's Virginia Woolf, not Mrs. Dalloway. Virginia Woolf is pretty famous for her stream of consciousness kind of style. But I picked out one pretty normal sentence, really quite beautiful. Let's take a look. Now it was time to move. And as a woman gathers her things together, her cloak, her gloves, her opera glasses, and gets up to go out of the theater into the street, she rose from the sofa and went to Peter. The first thing I want to do is to take all of this apart. First thing we see is actually a sentence, and there's an and after it because we're going to be joining it to a second sentence, but that doesn't come until the end. So let's put both of those up there. And by the way, there's a nice little way to check that these are in fact sentences. It's called tagging. It looks like this. Now it was time to move. Wasn't it? She rose from the sofa and went to Peter, didn't she? If you can do that, it's a sentence. And you see that we've put a one in the front of each of them. Those are going to be called level ones. Now we look at the next piece and we realize it's not a sentence. We can't tag it. So we drop it down, indent, put a two in front of it. So it's a level two. The next thing to notice is it starts with as. Remember like and as that sets up a comparison. And we have that little slant or slash because she wants to slice open this piece and put in the information we need. What are the things? Her cloak, her gloves, her opera glasses. And notice they have a slant after the three. There are threes because they describe something in the two, and they have the slant because that's where they go, up in that level two. If they went at the end of the level two, they wouldn't have the, those slants. So that comparison turns out to be 26 words long. But can you imagine if it weren't there? It would be a huge loss, wouldn't it? But the part I love the most is the elegance, how the language gets this rhythm going, very casual, very beautiful, but Alexander Pope said, the sound must seem an echo to the sense. The sound of the words have to reinforce what the words are trying to convey. So you put the two together, there's your flow. It's just so beautiful as these pieces just unfold before your eyes. 1925, a cloak, haven't seen a cloak for a while. The gloves? No. And how about that opera? Wait a minute. The opera glasses. Just a minute. Haven't seen those for a while. <laughs> 